Well, hello everyone. We're over the hills and we're bringing you our third gear review. Today we're going to talk about sleeping bags and down jackets. Uh, the sleeping bags are the third big weight component. We have already covered backpacks and tents. So today is sleeping bags. Because the biggest way to save weight when you're using a sleeping bag is to share it. And it was about 32 years ago that we discovered that sharing a sleeping bag was the way to go. So what happened was the first sleeping bag I bought was a mummy bag. And I, I'm a bit of a restless sleeper, would you say? <laughs> Very restless, <laughs> yeah. yes. So I'd toss and turn and I'd get strangled by my sleeping bag. So I bought a semi-rectangular uh, marmot designs, marmot mountain bag <laughs> and um, when Patsy and I started dating I bought her another semi-rectangular marmot sleeping bag that mated to mine don't tell her parents though. and uh, so we used those for a while coupled together and then we realized that the bottom sleeping bag was pretty much worthless because all the down was being compressed and it just so happened we were fortunate that marmot sold a uh, coupler sheet that zipped to either of the two sleeping bags and, and basically enclosed the two sleeping bags. And we used that system for about 25 years. Um, but over the course of that 25 years, the, uh, the sleeping bag just lost some of its loft. <laughs> and so we went, or I went shopping for another sleeping bag the same kind of system, a, a rectangular or semi-rectangular bag that had a coupler so we could just use the one sleeping bag as a quilt. And I found two manufacturers that made such sleeping bags. One was uh, Feathered Friends based in Seattle and the other was Western Mountaineering. And I really can't remember why, but for some reason I chose the Feathered Friends over the Western Mountaineering. I suspect the Feathered Friends bag was a little bit lighter. So here's the stuff bag, Feathered Friends, made in Seattle. They were founded in 1972 and we've been really happy with the sleeping bag. Actually what happened was I didn't know what the original temperature rating was of the Marmot bag that I bought, but it wasn't very warm anymore. And so I bought a 10 degree rated Feathered Friends bag. And as soon as we used that, we realized that, whoa, that was way too hot. It had at least double the loft of the Marmot bag. So then I bought a 30 degree Feathered Friends bag. And that's the one that we use almost all the time. That's the one that we use for the PCT. And on those very cold nights when the temperature dropped to the low 20s, we used uh, down jackets and down pants inside the sleeping bag and we were comfortably warm. So it turned out great. And one of the big things about the Feathered Friends coupler as opposed to the Marmot coupler is we used to fight a lot about who was sleeping on the zipper because there was nothing to stop the sleeping bag from turning. Uh, but on the Feathered Friends, it has these baffles that our sleeping pads slip through and make sure that the sleeping bag stays aligned correctly on top of both the pads. And it's great. And a foot um, where you can insert the foot of the pad. Yeah, well, and a head pocket. The head. But the, the head and the foot pocket really only work well if you're using a full length mattress. And I use a woman's regular size mattress. Well, actually, it's the only woman's mattress is a regular size one. And that's a Neo, so it's about, well, I don't know, five foot eight maybe five foot ten in length so it doesn't go through both the top and the bottom bottom pockets but it does go through this middle pocket and that stops us sliding onto the zipper in the middle of the night and then having a fight who oh, you got to move over i'm on the zipper and shorty uses a short and why do you use a short oh because it's lighter it's only eight ounces and it's 48 inches long and Perfect for me, I'm only five feet, but my feet kind of stick out at the end, so I just use my sit pad to cushion my feet and to 
insulate it from the ground. And it's been working fine so far. Yeah, my new uh, mattress weighs 12 ounces in comparison to that, 8 ounces. And both of our new uh, mattresses have been replaced free by Cascade Designs. Another Seattle-based company, I think. So, yeah, great service. So when, they, when you're on a through hike and those new uh, mattresses begin to delaminate, which they always do eventually, then Cascade Designs will arrange for a local store to replace them while you're on the trail. So you don't have to go to the trouble of sending your old one back to Cascade Designs and then having them send you another one. They'll just swap it out in a store. In my case, REI, and then Patsy's case, fifth season in the town of Manchester. Yeah, so yeah, uh, Cascade Designs is a great company. And Feathered Friends is a great company. We also have Feathered Friends jackets. Uh, down jackets. Which I love. Yeah, mine's a Hyperion. And mine um, is an Elias. And one of the really Elias. nice things, these jackets weigh less than a pound. I forget exactly how much, maybe 12 ounces. But they're really warm. And one of the really nice features about these jackets is that the back, it's hard to see here, is a little bit longer than the front. So when you sit down, the back doesn't ride up and leave the lower part of your back exposed to the cold. It's a really good idea. Mm -hmm. um, even with a hood, I think mine is less than 11 ounces. Yeah. But it's a uh, small. And Shorty lives in that thing. <laughs> it saved me so many nights of being cold. Even in the sleeping bag, I have to wear my down jacket and my down pants. And my down booties. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. I love down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we, we are uh, big fans of both uh, Feathered Friends and Cascade Designs. Good companies. Yeah, both good companies. Excellent customer support. And uh, we save a lot of weight by just using the one sleeping bag that weighs about two pounds oh, for the two of us. It's 42 or 43 ounces, so... Okay, two and a half pounds. Yeah. Right. I carry it, so I know. That includes the coupler? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So mm -hmm. two and a half pounds for the entire sleeping bag system, and then eight ounces for Patsy and 12 ounces for me for the mattress, and less than a pound for the down jackets each. And we're toasty. You know, that's one thing. As you get older, you tend to feel the cold more. <laughs> so, you don't want to be cold. And as you lose weight on a backpack, yeah, you get colder. Yeah, as you well. get colder. <laughs> and just to give you an idea of the difference in size between the three sleeping bags, on the left we have our 35 year old marmot bag, which looks very flaccid in its, in its storage bag. And in the middle, the 30 degree feathered friends bag and on the right stuffed to the point of exploding or bursting the 10 degree feathered friends bag so as you can see they're dramatically different we still use the marmot bag in the summer when it's warm and you know like the nights don't go below 50 but other than that we usually use the feathered friends ones that's in the middle one more thing while we're on the subject of sleeping systems. Uh, rather than blowing up the air mattresses using long air, just blowing into them and becoming almost uh, blue in the face from lack of oxygen, we use one of these Sea to Summit pump sacks, which doubles as a stuff sack. So this is 20 litres in size and it uh, holds our uh, Feathered Friends sleeping bag keeps that dry when we're out in the wet. Um, but it also makes it relatively easy to pump up the air mattresses. And because this is a Sea to Summit stuff sack and our mattress is a Thermarest Neo Air, uh, this isn't an exact fit. And so what we had to do was uh, ream out a bit of this attachment point, the inside of it, with the Dremel tool. Uh, you don't need to take very much off, maybe uh, a millimetre or two. And then it's a uh, good snug fit over the 
Neo uh, valve and it makes it a lot easier to pump these things up saves you going blue in the face epoxic I hope that helps too and I can put my down jacket my down pants and my down booties in that sack together with the sleeping bag as well yeah yeah so it's dual purpose keeps everything dry especially on through hikes you want everything to be dual purpose and it only weighs 1.7 ounces. Oh, that's sweet. Yeah. So, yeah, very, very useful system. That's, that's the system we use. We've, we've used the quilt, basically, for the last 30 years. And uh, really enjoyed it. Really enjoyed the weight savings and the shared bodily warmth. So we hope that's helpful to you and inspire you to save weight on your sleeping system. So, thanks for watching.